What is going on guys, my name is Parker. I'm standing here at Uncharted Recreation in Meridian, Idaho. Next to me, I've got a 2024 Little Guy Mini Max. So this is a really cool little teardrop trailer coming in at under 2,500 pounds dry. And believe it or not, this thing actually has a full bathroom. So we'll get to the walkthrough here in just a minute. I'm gonna list off some specs over here on this side of the screen. Feel free to pause the video and look at that. Um, let's get into it. All right, guys, so we're gonna start at the front here. Now take note, you do have a manual stabilizer jack or tongue jack, if you will. Just behind that, a metal tongue box that is diamond plated. And you, this is gonna be where your propane and your battery or batteries will be housed. Let's see if I can get in there. Um, your battery disconnect switch is located just down there, that red switch there. So nice that that's included from the factory. All right, so stepping back. You'll have some nice mini max graphics all the way around as well as tinted acrylic windows on this unit that have built-in bug screens and uh, blackout screens um, so coming around to the driver's side not a whole lot to show you but you do have an access panel to the refrigerator here you do have an outdoor shower on this unit as well just below that this is a solar on the side port, so if you wanted to increase your solar capacity, you could bring a portable panel with you. And then this is your cable coax connection there. And I'll show you the rest as we walk around. Just below here, you'll have your um, black tank dump here, as well as manual stabilizing jacks on this unit. And then you do have a sewer hose. Um, like I don't know what you would call that, but that's where you you put your sewer hose uh, when you're not using it. All right, so coming around to this side here, here's a good side profile of what the unit looks like. You do have a magnetic door catch on this one, so that's what this little nub is sticking out here. So when you open the door, that magnetic mag, ugh, magnetically attaches there, and then you've got a screen door built in to your front door here. All right, you do have a two-step. This does pull out and drop down. Makes getting in and out pretty easy. And then they did include an outdoor mount for an outdoor TV here, if that's your thing, with HDMI coax on this side with an outdoor speaker. And then you've got some 110 outlets here with your other outdoor speaker. Now this one does have the Rough Rider package, which gives it a little bit of a lift. So two and a half inch riser on the axle, and then you get these 15 inch off-road tires as well with that package. This unit does use rubber torsion axles, or axle I should say, and uh, that's gonna help with any articulation for those dirt roads and any off-roading you might encounter. Here's your furnace exhaust, just to the left of that is gonna be your pass-through storage. So pretty cool to see a good sized storage space like this on such a small trailer, uh, but you can fit quite a bit of gear in here. And those doors are held up with uh, magnets as well. Coming around to the back, you'll see that large stargaze window. Really cool from the inside, I'll show you that in a bit. Um, but that window also tilts open like the rest of them. Down here you'll have a two inch receiver, perfect for bike racks and things like that. It's weighted for, it's rated, excuse me, for 150 pounds. License plate would be mounted just over here. Again, stabilized jacks on the backside as well. You will have another access door to your pass through on this side, as well as access to your water heater, city and fresh water um, connections there and your 30 amp power just there. You do have a nice size window on both sides of the trailer with camp lights as well. Now hopefully you can see this okay, but this one's equipped with the 100 watt solar panel up top here. There is an option to get a 200 watt panel from the factory as well. And then your AC sticking up on top, that is a 13,500 BTU air conditioner unit. So let's go ahead and head on inside and and we'll end the uh, walk through there. All right, let's hop on inside here. So just to the right here, you'll be greeted with your kitchen, eight inch deep uh, stainless steel sink here, stainless steel fixtures as well. 
You do have some power ports in the kitchen here. So you've got USBs, 12 volts, 110s, just about everything you'd need in the kitchen. You will have this two burner stove with a glass top made by Dometic. This is a gas stove. This is nice because you can use this as prep space. And then there's also an insert that fills in the sink here so you can use this whole countertop for prepping your food. Good size cubby up top here, little shelf, another cubby. The window on the front lets a lot of natural light in. This tilts open. I don't know what you'd store in there, but it's nice that they uh, thought of this and didn't just waste that space. Underneath here, there's that insert I was talking about for the sink and access to your plumbing. Another good size cupboard or cabinet on this side. And then a pretty good size drawer for all of your silverware and utensils. Coming around to this side of the door, you'll have your solar controller here. Max air fan just above that. Here's your control panel for all the lighting, the water heater, the tanks, all that good stuff. Fire extinguisher, of course. You have a good size little cubby here. And then there's even a little space you can kick your uh, shoes off and get them out of the way. And if it's hard to get your stuff in here, they've actually included this little door here as well as a cup holder. That's your radio. This does have two zones, indoor and outdoor speakers. 110 outlets there, USB 12 volt charging there. You do get a little wardrobe as well with a little acrylic uh, shelf in here. Just above that is gonna be your uh, microwave. Air conditioner is located straight above me here. Good size fridge as well. So there's your freezer. And here's a good look at the fridge. So really massive for this small of a trailer. And speaking of, look how nice and big this, uh, this bathroom is for again, how small this trailer is. So this is a wet bath. So there's your toilet. Everything in here is designed to uh, get wet. You will have a ventilation fan up top here. So really cool. Working our way towards the back here, you'll see our pretty large dinette area here with this lagoon table. This is designed to move and swivel to the position that you desire. And then you can take it out uh, when needed to open up the space even more. This is a full-size queen bed back here. I'll go ahead and throw a picture of what that looks like in just a second. All right, for those curious, by the way, the bed dimensions on this are 70 by 75 inches, so can easily sleep two, maybe even three adults pretty comfortably in here. Um, you do have a little bit of storage underneath here, by the way. That's where the slats are stored uh, to make this into a bed. But uh, on this side, good size window here. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate how these windows work. So you've got these red latches here. You just undo all these. And then you can position this where you like. And once you have it where you like, just twist this little dial here and it'll hold that position. So pretty cool. And then on top of that, you've got your bug screen that pulls down and your privacy shade that pulls up. So. Kind of cool, it's all built in there. Good size storage cubby above that. Here's one of the indoor speakers here, as well as your thermostat. Coming around to the other side, you'll see it. You'll kind of get a good look at the uh, Stargaze window here on the back. This one has all the same functionality, so it can prop open. You've got your built in bug screen here and your privacy shade that comes up. Coming around to this side, a lot of the same stuff over here, except you do have a um, 12 volt TV in this so this will run off the battery which is pretty cool and then you've got your smoke alarm just above that along with your other speaker so anyway um, that kind of sums it up for this trailer here I'll go ahead and um, throw in a list of options that you can get on this trailer and uh, as always guys please like the video if you enjoyed it or found this helpful um, 
please subscribe if you'd like to see similar content to this. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.